Chuck Schumer from the state of New York. Well, thank you. Thank you, Senator Markey. Less than half of Americans in the 21st century are not sure they have the right to birth control. That's more people than live in Florida or Texas or California. It's astounding that people have to worry about it. Make no mistake about it. How did this happen? Make no mistake. Americans' uncertainty about using birth control is one of the many, many shameful consequences of overturning Roe v. Wade. Today we live in a country where not only tens of millions of women have been robbed of their reproductive freedoms, we also live in a country where tens of millions more worry about something as basic as birth control. That's utterly medieval. It's sickening. It should never happen here in the U.S., but because of Donald Trump, the hard right, and the Republican Senate, which is willing to go along with them, it's reality. But today, fortunately, the Senate has the chance to protect reproductive rights by advancing the Right to Contraception Act. <laughs> I don't stand very much, so people are always surprised. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Many Republicans will say we're being overzealous and that there's no real threat to birth control. Well, they also said we were overreacting when we said Republicans were coming for Roe. They said we were overreacting when we said IVF and the right to build our families and our own, our own terms would be next after the Dobbs decision. But this is not an overreaction. This has been Republicans' plan all along. When we vote on this bill today, we'll make it clear once and for all who supports the freedom of every American to access contraception if and when they need it and who plans to continue their right-wing attacks and exert further control over women's bodies. If Republicans were really pro-freedom, they'd help us pass this important legislation to protect the freedom of every American to decide what happens to their own bodies, their own careers, and their own futures. I will not just sit around waiting for the day that this Supreme Court takes away another one of our rights and freedoms. For my Republican colleagues who say women don't have the right to control their bodies when it comes to abortion care, then shouldn't we at least ensure more Americans can access birth control and get pregnant on their own terms? For my Republican colleagues who say this is just a messaging vote for Democrats, it doesn't have to be if you stand with the vast majority of Americans who want to protect the right to access contraception. This bill safeguards that right, and it's that simple.